Hi guys, welcome back. I really appreciate you tuning in and I just want to thank you for spending some time with me. This is a little teaser of the video that's going to be part two, but here is part one of the collection that I got in the group buy and a still shot. I'm just cleaning it off with acetone. I'm using tea polish for that large big image. Um, I don't like, I, I love that polish, but I can't do too much of it. So I started off with the tea polish and I think that came out absolutely beautiful. I was going to swatch on that large stamper, but that came out so beautiful. I decided to do the decal. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it, but I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm using the Wet n Wild top coat to make the decal. From here on, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild. So this is going to go a little bit back to my Color Club video that I did. I just want to say that comparing this plate to the Color Club, which is like $10, look at how beautiful these swatches are coming out. Um, and this is with regular Wet n Wild nail polish, which is the exact same polish I used with the Color Club plates after I saw that the plates weren't etched properly and I didn't want to waste my stamping polish. So here you can just see how beautiful this plate swatches with the Wet n Wild nail polish. This image here I don't particularly like. I think it's a little too much but it's flawless. Absolutely flawless. Now here that was my mistake. I didn't put enough nail polish. I'm turning the plate around as you can see and look at that. Just stunning. And this image right here, oh my goodness, so pretty. I, I have a thing for skulls as you can tell and these um Horns, finger horns are absolutely adorable. It might not be your cup of tea, but look at how beautiful each one swatches. Absolutely flawless. I mean, look at that. It's like, I wish these plates were Color Club. This is the quality that I was expecting from Color Club. Okay, that was my scraping. But still, absolutely cute and adorable. So yeah, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is even with regular nail polish, if you get a good quality plate, um, you can use it and you can be happy and you don't have to sit there and struggle with a stamping plate to make it work. Here is just my pickup. Eventually I figure it out. So go still struggling with it, but third time's the charm, right? Isn't that how you say it? <laughs> Look at that, absolutely flawless. Color Club, I wish that had been your plate. Now here I'm trying to peel the decal. It has been more than 10 minutes, but I messed up his mohawk. Well, that's okay, because I'm just gonna cut it off. How pretty is that? So here are some swatches and a sneak peek of part two, which I'll be doing next. 
I just want to thank you guys for spending your time with me watching the video. I really enjoy reading your comments so make sure you leave me some and I would appreciate a thumbs up. I'm sorry if the mic is moving around and um, not sounding very good. So keep a lookout for part two and have a great week. Bye!